Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and we're back at as the Russian SFSR. So today, I'm actually recording this quite a bit later than usual. Um, I drove for about six and a half hours, seven hours for a job interview, but regardless, the show must go on. So right now, I had a few comments, and someone said, as this person apparently was a Soviet main player, perhaps I should make up to... At least 50 tanks, so I have a constant, good, secure production of modern tanks. And then maybe eventually I could research uh, a tank variant. It will be another two years before we can get the next modern tank. I want to see if I can compare these two. So the one on the left is a modern tank. The one on the right is an anti-air tank. Uh, hardness is definitely lower. I don't like that. The SC-150-254 is a self-propelled artillery tank. Still hardness, not great. Armor is quite a bit lower. Heart attack is much worse. Speed, same. Breakthrough sucks. Soft attack is literally doubled. Same production cost. So we might go with SPAA. What about modern tank or destroyers? Soft attack is a quarter of this. Way less breakthrough. Max speed is same. Quite a bit more piercing, but not a lot more piercing, actually. That's not as good as I thought it would be. Uh, a little bit less defense. A little more heart attack. I, th I would have thought that this would have a little bit more piercing than it does. So maybe we'll go with SPA. Actually, you know what? This will probably do. So, we'll probably keep researching modern tanks, but in 1947, when we go to the T-55, well, we will probably get modern SP artillery, too, because then we should have our tank divisions chock full of modern tanks by then so that'll be probably pretty good to do then so and are we making more military factories well we're producing a nuclear reactor and I desperately need more rubber and aluminum can I just take it from somebody I will get one of these and I think it's probably good, probably go to closed economy next, just because I need as many factories as I can get. Um, I need as many resources as I can get, actually. And we do have construction contracting for more aluminum in Ar Armenia. Yeah, Armenia. This looks extremely dangerous. I really don't like the look of this. But, you know, there's not really much you can do. Where are our tanks? They are down here, because I want to cut off Bulgaria. So just as long as these guys hold the line... I mean, it looks like we're going to get cut off, but as long as they hold the line, that's what really, really matters here. Go ahead and retry re to attack Brasov. Take half of you guys help out as well. Um, last time we did try quite an offensive on the German or the Axis lines, which was great. And also, I do appreciate all your comments that, you know, that people post. I, re I read every single one of them. I might not respond to them immediately, but I still respond to them. Anyways, it looks like the Allies are actually trying to break out. It looks like the Allies have landed in Normandy, so they did try a D-Day, finally, after they invaded um, Nord Pas de Calais. Someone got injured, as well as Brittany, and they actually took Brussels back. Interesting. Oh, and they attacked Wilhelmshaven once again. It looks like it's pretty much the end for the German Reich at this point. I really don't want you guys to attack. Ooh. Diving capability. Oh, are these... Oh, these are actual... These aren't naval bombers. These are carrier naval bombers. God dang it, I got trolled. These are medium bombers, dang it. Or, you know, naval bombers. Gosh dang it. Whatever. That's fine. Uh, I do want to attack. Can we attack over river, please? Probably not. Oh, that's a little bit of lag there. If we can win, great. Give these guys a little bit extra of a push. I definitely want to break over the river so I can just go down to Alexandropolis. That'd be awesome. I definitely want to cut the Germans or the Axis off here. Just because I want to cut off Istanbul. That's really my goal. Uh, let's take a quick look. And Oh, look at all this air superiority. I love it. You guys... Oh, yeah, we do. Oh, yeah, we got quite a few more heavy fighters, too. You guys, go ahead and join this group over here. Another 400 heavy fighters. Great. And we will probably split these guys up between these last few generals over here. 
Are you ready yet? Almost. Cool. One. Actually, we'll probably put 200 on this guy. And I'll probably put 200 here, and then followed up by sharing the love. Sharing the wealth. That's really what we're doing here. Sharing the wealth. Ah, oh, landing craft. Nice. We'll definitely need that eventually. It is 1945. Hope you're having a great year. Snorkels, I've heard, are pretty much redundant and pointless to get at this point, so we're not really going to research those. Uh, actually, what is ET? Extra expanded industry and equipment. Oh, I could use aluminum so badly. But, leg infantry recovery? Let's do that, yeah. Let's get some aluminum or something. We actually won! Nice! Good job, guys. Don't move. Or I shoot you in the back. Nice. Infrastructure, not super great. Just break down here. I want half of you to stay here as well. This will stretch our front lines just a little bit, but this is a good thing for us. Because even though Istanbul has a port, they are technically cut off, and I can use the rest of the tanks to crush these guys over here on the right. Oh, man. Uh, and they're panicking. Good. I love it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. Go ahead and... Oh, those, these guys are pretty darn injured. Go ahead and... Mm, you can probably push these guys in. Send one tank from here to help out. Oh, they do have a level 3 land fort. <coughs> Very nice. Maybe we can win here. Oh, advanced winter clothing. Very cool. Steel. We don't really need steel at the moment. <coughs> this would hurt our... Normal planes agility, but give them more range. Nah, eh, that's okay. SRD is pretty much done. Air doctrine is done. Torpedo. Uh, I will want carriers and ca carrier naval bombers eventually, so that's okay to do. Actually, if we can take all but one, I don't think we can really attack here and be successful. Yeah, they got way too many divisions. Okay, they. I thought they had too many divisions, but if we can take this area, awesome. Just push down south. So that all these guys will perish because there's no way for these guys to get out, which is great. Istanbul is in between a rock and a hard place right now as we speak. Uh, we are winning the battle, but the reserves look like they're not doing so well. Oh! Oh, look at that. Goodbye. The Allies, of course, uh, they lost Wilhelmshaven, but they got at least half of Belgium back, a little bit of... The Netherlands back, and a good chunk of France is already here and alive. For now. Not until I have something to say to them. Alright, so good job. We actually... Oh. Helped our allies out there. It looks like our fleet mingled... Mingling with the Allied fleet have found a couple Romanian ships that are now trapped in the Black Sea. Ooh, baby. With, of course, a couple extra guys to help out. Sounds like someone's navally invading me, which is not always great for us. Go ahead and redeploy the line for now. Tanks, you guys did a great job. Um, don't get cut off, just don't worry about it. And for you, I want to slice these guys up. What I might try right here is an encirclement where my mouse is. Move over to the airfield. Go around and cut, up, cut off a little portion of Bulgaria to begin. Hmm... But the line in the north looks pretty good to attack. I need to get rid of some more enemy divisions first, though. So we're going to start here. Come over here. And... Someone... Oh, they're, they're trying to invade me through the Black Sea. Okay, well... Good luck with that, guys. These destroyers are probably not going to make it. At least for now. If I, if I lose my ships, whatever. If I lose my subs, whatever, you know. That's my general attitude about this stuff. That's fine, that's fine. Let them take that tile. Just get the tanks up there. Supply right now. Tanks aren't doing so great for heavy tanks, but modern tanks aren't bad. So let's go ahead and get rid of another heavy tank for a modern tank. Oh, and status. We lost a plane in exchange for six Romanian destroyers. Yeah, the destroyers have nowhere to go, so they're just like floating in the ocean now. All right, who can't give me my goods? Come on, guys. I trusted you. I trusted you. Is there anyone I can... Ah, free... Oh, can I actually get stuff from Free France? Oh, yeah, I'll do that. Oh, look at this. Another tank division. Cool. 
You guys are making it down there still. I'm going to let the allies push just for a little bit, just because I don't want them to get too far ahead of me. I don't want them to get too much land back. I want the Germans to really make the allies suffer for maybe the next war. You know, I'm really actually somewhat surprised that Italy itself hasn't really been in invaded yet. I mean, by 1943, historically, there was the invasion of Sicily. But now, I, I can't say I see too much of a naval invasion of Sicily. All they care about is northern France. Not even Spain at this point anymore. Southern France or southern Italy. But no, they just focus on taking back Istanbul and that's it. Oh look, a lot of dead destroyers. Even more, another dead destroyer. And, and another one? Yay, good job guys, you did great. Are you guys injured? You're probably injured. Um, yeah, go ahead and split off or just repair if you need to. Alright, tanks. You did a great job. I want all of you to come here immediately. And then... Oh, you can't do much. You're already in the middle of combat. That's fine. We can probably win this battle without too much effort. Nice. Without you or you, come down here. If you can, take out two more tanks. Come up here. Take off one and come over to here. See if you can do that. And this might have been the last Romanian destroyer. Awesome. Or last two. Nice. Go ahead and repair it. You guys did a great job. I'm still going to get rid of you when I'm done with you, though. Uh, German ships, the German Navy itself actually has been pretty heavily weakened to the point where I might be confident enough, actually, yeah, that I can send these ships out to at least the upper Baltics, perhaps? So, patrol here, but before I let them do that by themselves, I'm going to put some planes here. Yeah, that'll be good. Just in case we encounter some German planes. And since we're talking about planes... Nice, and then another 100, please. And I'll put you over here. I'll just shove all 400 into... Um, shove them into there. There you go. Very nice, very, very nice. And these guys have deployed. Very good, guys. Good job. Looks like the allies are kind of stuck there. We're desperately trying to break through here. Can you directly attack to help out? That'd be great. Great job, guys. Ah, an extra military factory. Very nice. And we made another small encirclement. Good job, guys. It looks like our guys, though, have abandoned the line. That's not good. Um... Yeah, this is five divisions, seven divisions, six divisions here. Go ahead and tell you guys move up this way. Uh, let me take that other tank and move up this way as well. And if you want to move, I'll make sure you move this way. Cool, how many... Me so we need over a thousand heavy tanks. Definitely need a lot more medium tanks. Everything else is really good, especially infantry equipment. I can probably take off at least five of these guys for the tanks. Looking good, looking good. That's some Wait, how did they... Um, yeah, just hold the line, guys. Just hold the line. You don't have to do much, but hold the line. And a couple more dead Axis members. Easy, right? Oh, come on, France. You're no better than Thailand now. Or People's Republic of Siam, or whoever they are. Hmm, no. Oh, Greece. Hello, Greece. Um, I'm only getting one because I don't have really the resources to do very much else. Uh... I have a lot of repairing to do, jeez. Mm, what do I need? I need more military factories, but I need more rubber and need more aluminum. Uh, go ahead, do this, 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 this. But, don't have aluminum yet. Uh, more rubber, a rubber refinery. I'll uh, do it in Stalingrad. Uh, Trotsky Grad. I don't, I don't know why we can't rename that yet. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. We're playing with trots. Oh, okay, never mind. It's Volgograd. Wait. Hmm, this is not right. Anyways, uh, we did great. We did another small encirclement, and now we must choose our next point of attack. I could see myself attacking down this way, but I hate going through the mountains with your tanks because it's a death sentence. So, actually, uh, the north is just so ripe for attacks. It's not even funny. I'm um, will be in Berlin by like early next year with the way things are going. 
go ahead and come that way. You guys go this way. Poznan is ours, basically. Take one. Take four. Take one. Hungary. Hungary's a mess. Hungary's going to be a problem to fight through because all those hills and so... I mean, as well as Bulgaria, but... Hmm. We'll do a small encirclement first. What we're going to do is... Let's see. This is planes. We could strike up here, through here, through here to here to here. It's going to kill the supply here, though. Go something like that. Cut off the little tail of Hungary, the Transylvanian tail. And then... Yeah, that might be okay. Also, I think we were doing... Uh, let's see, where is it? Improved worker conditions, which might have hurt our ability to ha make things. So, yeah. But now we don't, which is good. Allies are... Actually, they've united the front. They've encircled two divisions, or I guess two tiles. And now the allies definitely have a beachhead with Paris recaptured from the Germans. As well as the Allies invading Greece to liberate them. and But the Axis really is only caring about me and the way I'm pummeling them. Okay. Oh, and even Spain got invaded. Interesting. Oh, there's Republicans. Repu wait, Republican Spain is still alive? Oh. oh, that's right. They were my ally that went to war against the Germans with me. But they were eventually defeated. Or forced to flee the peninsula. Alright, so you guys aren't moving at all. Are you supposed to be moving? Because if not, I'm just going to tell these guys to... Uh... Yeah, go ahead and do another offensive. Oh, an extra military factory. Great. Organizer. I would love him to be an organizer so we can get to logistics wizard. But he's not there quite yet. Nice. Nice, nice. Got need at least 12 more divisions for those guys. Let's see... You guys are 20 width. Let's go ahead and switch you over to 40 width. For the most part, the central part of the front is not doing very well. The northern front is doing exceedingly well, and the southern front is doing pretty eh to not very good. But as long as we take Berlin and the northern portions, I'm kind of happy about that. Because fighting through mountains up here is garbage. You know what? To help out with the southern front, just send the tanks this way. Maybe not. Maybe that's a bad idea. That's probably a terrible idea, actually. But then again, I, d I definitely want to kill off Germany. If once Germany's gone, it's all over, pretty much. Ah, very good. Very, very nice. Who knew that the Balkans would actually be holding on much stronger than the Germans would? But whatever. Whatever. It looks like we're going around. We met up to Thessalonica with the Allies. That's good. Uh, we're getting really close to Ger Berlin, which is great. Uh, no thank you, People's Republic of Korea. Or Democratic People's Republic of Korea. I appreciate your offer, but no thanks at the moment. Uh, go ahead and go down to Careful. And for you guys, well, you guys are special. Can we all like, go here, maybe? Perhaps? I mean, this has got to be doing one hell of a number against the Italians. I think the Italians, are they out of manpower? They're not out of manpower, but they're fairly communist. Uh, the Germans are also in the same situation. Not They got quite a bit of manpower, but they're an all-adult serve. The Vichy French are not doing great. Hungary is not doing great either. Ooh, nice. We can make those. Slovakia is not doing great. So, overall, our enemies... Happy 1946, everyone. Our enemies aren't doing super great. And time for some more special weapons. And I'm going to call the rest of this attack off. Let everyone finish what they're doing. But, uh, except for you guys too. Don't worry about that. Ah, oh, we capitulated Bulgaria because of the offensive. Great. Great. Absolutely great. Uh, we took Sofia, which was awesome. Go here. Take you off if you can. Uh, Yugoslavia was li liberated. Um, I don't like that. Uh, can someone take Yugoslavia out? Or they're part of the Allies, god dang it. Yeah, can someone take them out? I don't want them here. Um, hmm. I was going to mess up my Cold War, sen Cold War scenario if Yugoslavia is still alive. If that's the case, and because I'm basically the one liberating them, I'm going to want some extra compensation then. 
Hmm, 1946. So Ford companies have until 1954. Artillery, we're done with artillery for quite a while. Actually, what about industry? No, we can't do very much either. Or, oh, that was engineering, I guess. Industry. More rubber refinery output? Eh, sure, why not? That sounds pretty good to me. Ah, oh, finally we got better of these things. Didn't really need them yet, but... Good, good, good. Our medium, or modern tanks are doing pretty darn well. Go ahead and switch these... Ah, uh, don't switch the tanks yet, because we're still using them. Nice. We cut these guys off. These guys are all starving down here. That's awesome. Starving for supplies, at least. Not real life starving. Well, actually, they might be starving if it was real life, but... Let's not go there. I don't want to... I might want to monetize this thing someday. Probably not, but maybe someday. Oh, he's an urban assault specialist. Good. Ooh. Yeah, keep on trying to break out, guys. It's not going to happen unless you beat the Greeks out. Oh, it looks like the Germans are actually striking back here. The Allies' offensive really has stalled, but that might be because Vichy France has maybe given more attention to this area. So last time we capitulated the Romanians, this time we capitulated the Bulgarians, which obviously will be my ally in the future. Uh, you guys don't need to move. Um, go take those guys out. Thanks. Ha have your way with them. Send you guys like over here into the plan because the attrition here is super, super bad. Go ahead and send these guys over here. Great, great, great. Awesome. Go ahead, reform the front line once again. God, Hungary's a mess. And actually, because of that, uh, I hate Hungary so much. Oh, yeah, put my tanks over here. If I can do something like this, that would be absolutely devastating. I want to do this. Cut off Transylvania. That'll be great. Oh, look, the Germans are so strong, they are still attacking us. Hmm. Very nice. Hmm. Alright, Axis. You're pretty much on your last legs at this point. Well, I mean, you still have Spain. And the Allies looks like they're really trying to beat you up in Yugoslavia. But I'm not really going to help them out. I don't see a point to. Uh, air doctrine? Well, I th we really should probably focus on naval doctrine. Fleet and being around battleships. Uh, torpedo. Let's do this one. Have we encountered any? We haven't encountered anything up here. Oh, we have ships repairing. Oh, okay. Um, maybe we got bombed or something. Go ahead and take off another one. That'd be good. Nice. Very cool. Yeah, I'm gonna let the Allies focus on this part of the Balkans if they want it so freaking badly. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it kind of like that for now. Tanks, where did I? I want them up here. That's right. Oh, we're reforming the front line as well. Go ahead and push this way. You're fine there. Berlin is a front-line city. I love that. I really do. Uh, take all but one of you guys. Attack this way. And since you're moving up, you can attack this way to help out. Hungarian divisions aren't any match for our divisions. And can anyone have any upgrades? No, no. Nothing interesting. What just happened? No longer get effects from construction contracting. Um, oh, good, good, good. So we actually get our 10% consumer goods factories back. Oh my god, what the heck? 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 14. Uh, you know what? We don't need all that 15. That last 14 can begin construction on an aluminum a factory. Great. The tanks have made it. They're actually looking not too bad now. We're still out of a lot of heavy tanks. Let's go ahead and switch around. Another battalion. Great. Very nice. And another infantry division has been made. Has anyone tried to invade Asia yet? Well, actually, I guess the Japanese have tried over here. So, we're gonna tell them... No, 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 no. Oh, we lost Hanoi immediately. Okay. And it looks like they invaded southern Siam, but... Uh, as long as they don't get Saigon, we'll be okay. Yep, and they won't. Korea, looking great as ever. We have enough political power. 
I don't want to trade away this stuff. I mean, we're exporting quite a few things, which gives us more factories. Maybe I shouldn't close off our, our country completely. Status of women, we don't care right now. Ideological struggle. I'm definitely doing that one later. Ah, Chief of Navy, what do we get? Naval attack from carriers, not using that. Naval experience gain. Eventually that's going to become useless. Commerce rating. Or more capital ship attack, as well as screen attack and defense. Yvonne, you are the man for the job. Alright, boys. It's, and the few girls. Actually, there's like probably two girls who watch or something. I don't know. It was weird. I was checking my analytics again. But, uh, yeah, I was like... In between the ages of 25 and 34, uh, and then I want you to, to come down here, something like that. Like, yeah, between the ages of 30, 25 and 34, there was like two girls watching or something in my videos. Maybe not Hoi 4, maybe it was some other videos like my Gamefly video or something, but either way, doesn't really matter at this point. Oh, maybe, maybe we want to do carrier stuff. Maybe we do. He oh, strategic bombers. Oh, oh mm. we need the Gaidro Samolot Transportini. I know Russian very well. Obviously, very, very well. And actually, you guys aren't really doing very much. I don't think you've encountered anything for a while. So go ahead and um, train. <laughs> we could use more naval XP at this point. And you guys. Uh, I love what you did, guys. But I don't really need you anymore. Black Sea. Hmm. I guess I put you here. I put you in the uh, GNC. Maybe we can find something there. And I take the planes too. Since the Black Sea is pretty much at this point completely locked down. Uh, give you guys a little bit more of a boost. Oh, we got encircled. God dang it. Guys. Guys. That is not cool. Alright, that's better. Go ahead. Yeah, come up there. Maybe just best to hold. Oh, god dang it. Don't get encircled. That's like rule one in Hoi 4, you know, mechanics. Don't get encircled. Do the encircling. Yeah, don't let them come this way. So for right now, at least... Are you flipping kidding me? What did I just say, guys? They're Hungarians. They're not monsters. They're just Hungarians. All right, now stay there while we get the rest of the infantry in here, because they are literally taking forever. Well, I guess not literally, but you know what I mean. They're just taking so long to move. Uh, actually, we might have a good chance for an offensive right now. Do we get cut off again, guys? Guys, this is this is not good. This is not good. If they, if we if they say we have a good chance to attack and do well, okay, then we'll we'll take it. Maybe it's not a great idea for everyone, but we'll take it. Tanks, they're just kind of hanging tight. Having a good time. Uh, yeah, nowhere they can really... Oh, actually. What if we did that? Surprise, surprise. If we could take this group out before this group, that would be great. Uh, probably not. At least take this tile. <gasps> Fall of Berlin. Look, at it's in color. A Soviet communique has announced the capitulation of all German forces in Berlin. After encircling the city, the Russians stormed from several different directions with the German defenders resisting furiously every step of the way. Soviet troops fought, finally fought their way across the Mokti Bridge into the Reichstag building, fighting room by room until they reached the roof where the Soviet flag was raised over the city. The Battle of Berlin is over. Everyone, get the vodka out. It's time to drink. Unless you're underage. In which, if you're underage... You can have as many drinks when you become of age. As long as you're responsible. I'm not re I'm not responsible for anyone getting too drunk. Except myself. Anyways. Oh, cool. We did a two-division encirclement. Nice. Not much. It's not much, but it's honest work. Alright, go ahead and uh, finish up what you guys are doing. And then we will go ahead and reap from the front line. And basically probably lose everything that we just worked for, but whatever. That's okay. Oh, you guys can stop too. Just get down here. Because I need you here. I need all my infantry divisions down here. Not bad. Not bad at all. We are repairing way too much. Um, da -da -dum -bum -bum. And then put in one of these bad boys. 
Uh, where's Ukraine? I I heard the Ukraine loves these nuclear reactors. Uh, we'll give them two. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Modern tanks. Nice. Deficit of heavy tanks isn't doing so bad. Modern tanks will get out of our deficit soon enough. Alright, we got at least a, one division over here. So let's go ahead and come back down here. And eventually try to cut off Hungary. Looks like we had some American soldiers here or something. Come up this way if you can. I really don't want these enemies here. Take half of you for now, just like... Oh, actually, you guys come over here then. If you can't win, so be it, but do your best. At least Berlin is gone. Or at least under our administration now. Please move that way. Please take these guys out. Thank you very much. And we can do some nuclear daddies now. 307 days. Ah, screw it. It's good for research speed. Let's do it anyways. The French have been able to push in just a little bit more, as well as into Spain. That's good to know. Uh... If I had to do a small encirclement first, so be it. Take half of you guys. Take you. Take Kust, if you can. If you can, that'd be great. Push this way. Maybe push into the mountains to get that at least that tile taken care of. Perhaps. Nice. Better mechanized. Awesome. Now we'll do that, because why not? Good job, guys. Good flippin' job. You guys can actually go down this way. And they immediately were beaten back. So, it looks like the Axis isn't doing super well. Yugoslavia, while it's trying to do well, isn't doing particularly great. But the rest of the Allies, they're pushing, I would say, fairly well now. Pushing fairly well. And uh, that's where we're going to leave it here today, guys. Well, with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. We capitulated the Bulgarians. We took Berlin. And it really looks like the Axis is going to capitulate within the next two episodes. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you, of course, tomorrow, where we will have a great time with each other once again. Thanks for watching.